Flames break out at a well-known flea market in Fort Lauderdale. We're talking about the swap shop. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn is there with more on the firefight and the damage left behind. Jacqueline? Lauren, you can still see screen number five still standing. However, crews are not certain what happened here and some firefighters still on the scene at this point. We're gonna give you a better look at some of the debris there. Just a lot of stuff there. And just behind the screen is Larkdale Elementary School. They were placed on lockdown during the day, but there was no spread to the school. Oh my gosh, this is crazy because we were just walking and we seen the fireworks just like, what's going on? Yeah. And firefighters are trying to figure it out. What caused a fire to tear through storage containers and damage an outdoor movie screen at the Fort Lauderdale Swap Shop and Thunderbird Drive-In? Multiple callers said that they saw flames and smoke coming from the theater itself and the screen itself. Around 1130 Monday morning, the first fire crews arrived on the scene. They found heavy smoke and flames coming from screen five of the drive-in area. Uh, the, the screen itself is surrounded by multiple shipping containers, storages, sheds that are all connected to the screen. And that's uh, where it appears a fire might, might have started. And there, there's a lot of combustible material in there, clothing, wood. Lauder Hill Fire tells us they also found propane and gasoline, but they still don't know what sparked the fire. Yeah, yeah, the furniture, some, some furniture, clothes, new one. She just bought that from a couple of days ago. Jacques Belizaire is speaking on behalf of his friend, Exam and Thomas, who had merchandise in one of the containers that was knocked down by firefighters. How much money do you think she lost? Well, well we don't know yet. Belizaire tells us the rent is supposed to include insurance. Thomas, the vendor who lost her stuff, is just beginning to work on filing a claim. Uh, we wonder if all the server now, we feel bad for the person who probably was selling. For longtime visitors, it's a sad scene. They would like to see repairs and for the screen to come back on at a later point. Now, the drive-in here, historic. It's been here a long time. It's weathered a number of hurricanes, but according to the website here, they say that these screens have actually been under renovations. It's been like that for a number of months. In Lauderhill, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.